Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. One subscriber on this channel asked me, Amit, how do I start my career in software development? Now, today in this video, I'm going to discuss about various options you have if you want to start your career in software development. But if you are new to this channel, then on this channel, I share tried, tested and proven methods to build an unstoppable career in software industry. So if you are new here, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can transform your career in the software industry. So the other day I was listening to one speech by Barack Obama and in that speech he talked about one girl and this girl could not go to college. She was working at odd jobs. She was uh, in, in the day she was working in some shop or uh, some restaurant and even she worked as a bus conductor. She was going through the grind of life because she could not uh, go to college. She did not have enough money. So after high school, she started doing all these odd jobs. But while she was doing all these odd jobs, on the side, during her free time, she started learning programming. And she started learning programming from some of the MOOC platforms, uh, massive open online uh, courses which are available from various university on Coursera or EDX. And she started learning uh, directly from these particular platforms. After about six months to a year, she got certain certificates from these programming courses that she had taken online. And when MasterCard came to know about this girl, MasterCard offered a job to this girl. Now, if you think about it, she was just a high school student who directly went into software development by going online and learning programming by her own. So in today's date, there are many companies like MasterCard. If you think about it, Shopify, MasterCard, IBM, uh, Microsoft, Google, all the big companies are looking at people who are trying to become programmers on their own and ready to do these certifications online to become a software developer. So there are three main areas of software development where you can focus your attention. One is software programming, where you learn some kind of a programming language and then you apply job as a programmer. The second area is testing, quality assurance and testing, where you learn how to test a product. And the third is analysis or business analysis, where you learn the basics of how to gather the requirements and how to design a product based on these requirements. So if you want to join any kind of a software industry, uh, any kind of a software company, then these are the three areas you can focus on. But if you want to become a programmer, then you have to start with picking up a programming language. You have to start with, okay, either you pick up Java programming language, .NET programming language, or Python programming language. These are the three most popular programming language out there. Then you learn the basics of these programming language, learn how to develop a code, how to write programs within these programming languages. And after you are able to do that, learn a little bit advanced, something unique uh, with that, within that programming language. For example, if you know Python, then you can go ahead and do some course on data science. So you will be a data scientist who also knows Python programming language. That will make you unique within the software industry. So if you follow this particular thing, then you will be able to enter the software industry. One of the regular ways of joining the software industry is by uh, doing any type of uh, college graduation uh, as a bachelor of engineer within computer science or um, within information technology. That is a straightforward way. But for some reason, if you don't get a chance to become a computer engineer, if you don't get a chance to go to college, then you can go to all these massive online open uh, courses 
and learn from there take a certification from there which is equivalent to your college degree and uh, much cheaper than a college degree and then you can start applying to companies and certainly your career will start just as if you are a bachelor of engineering from computer science so there are many different ways to do this but i would suggest that depending on what's available to you whether you can go to college or not go to college but start learning programming and within a few months to at least a year you will be in a good shape to start working at a job one uh, bonus tip i will give you is if while learning programming if you can connect with some startups okay where you can do your own internship where you can help the startup in some small uh, programming that you already know uh, or you can just start working with a startup with whatever knowledge you have and then start building your profile then that will help you in getting the other jobs in future so these are the different ways in which you can start your career in software development and even though there is a lot of doomsday prediction about a career in software development i can tell you that as we move into the future more and more jobs are getting converted into software development jobs as we grow the technology more and more people will be required who know programming and who can join the software development bandwagon so don't worry just focus your attention on learning some good programming language learn it in the best way possible and then start a job as soon as possible within a few months to a few years you will be uh, within the software industry you will get not only a good job but also a good salary to go with if you know if you want to know the 22 streams of high paying jobs in software then uh, watch this video where i talk about these 22 streams where you can get highest paying jobs thank you very much stay focused stay rich